at x equals to a. To do so, this is the formula. The derivative of a function f x at any point x equals to a is given by f prime a is equals to limit x approaching a f x minus f a divided by x minus a. So to better understand this, we are going to discuss a few questions, starting with this example. So I'm going to do example 2a first. So to find the differentiation of this function at point a equals to 2, I am going to substitute in this formula. f prime a is equals to limit x approaching a fx minus with fa divided by x minus a. So to find f prime, our a is 2. It is equals to limit x approaching 2. And our fx is 3 minus 2x. And then minus with our fa, which is 3 minus 2 times with 2. Divide by x minus 2. And then I am going to simplify our numerator. So we have 3 minus 2x minus with 3 minus 4 is equals to negative 1 over x minus 2. So this is equals to limit x approaching 2. And we have 3 plus 1, which is 4 minus 2x, divided by x minus 2. And then, I am going to factorize negative 2 from the numerator. So we factorize negative 2, so that now we have x minus with 2 over x minus 2. And then I am going to cancel the common factor. So we can cancel x minus 2 with x minus 2. So what's left is we have limit x approaching 2, negative 2. So the answer is negative 2. And now let's do question B. So I am going to find f prime 3, because our a is 3, equals to limit x approaching 3, our fx, which is set x minus 2, minus with our fa, which is 3 minus 2, divided by x minus with 3. And then let's simplify. So we have limit x approaching 3, set x minus 2 minus with 1 over x minus 3. And then we have to multiply with conjugate. So we have set x minus 2 plus 1 over x minus 2 is set plus with 1. And then let's expand the conjugate pairs. So when we expand, we have limit x approaching 3, we have x minus 2, minus with 1, over x minus 3, multiply with set x minus 2, plus with 1. And then, what we can do is, we can cancel the numerator with the denominator because for this part we are going to obtain x minus 3 so we can cancel with our denominator and what's left is we are going to have 1 over set x minus 2 plus with 1 and then I am going to substitute x with 3 so we have 1 
over set 3 minus 2 plus with 1. So the answer will be 1 over 2. And for this question, please try to do it yourself as a proof that you watch this video. Thank you.